Hello everyone, I'm Victoria Smith, state entomologist at the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Station. Today I'll take you through how to register your apiary using the State of Connecticut e-license system. Why register your apiary? Well, registration is required by Connecticut State Statute Section 2289. Registration also bolsters agricultural statistics. We can show how many people are active in beekeeping. During registration, you may volunteer to collect swarms. My office keeps a list of those volunteering. When people call in to report a swarm, you may be called to collect that swarm. Finally, my apiary inspector will only offer assistance to you if you are registered. So there are many benefits to registration. Your registration is valid from October 1st through September 30th of each calendar year. Those dates are spelled out in the state statutes. Registration information is not shared or sold to any other party, but may be provided to town officials upon request. You will not receive advertising or email spam as a result of registration. There is no charge to register. The preferred me method of registration is through the State of Connecticut e-license system. You may also complete and mail in a paper form found at the Experiment Station website. The form is not online fillable. You must print it, complete it, then mail it in. You may also print the form, complete it, then scan, then email the form to the address shown. You will receive your certificate and renewal notices by email to the address you have provided. There are no links to complete the registration or renewal. You must go to the website to complete the process. Again, a valid email address is needed. This email should be an address that you regularly check. After initial registration, there is no need to remember yet another username and password. You will be provided with the secret codes you need at renewal. E-license is a secure system. Information is not shared with any other entity and you will not receive ads or spam as a result of registration through e-license. Online registration generally takes just a few minutes to complete. Go to elicense.ct.gov, establish a credential, complete the registration, and wait to receive your certificate usually within 24 to 48 hours. This process generally takes 10 minutes or less for most people. Again, you will receive your certificate and renewal notices by email from eLicense. Here is eLicense.ct.gov. Go to the register link on the right side of the page and click that link. You will land at this page. Most of you will register as an individual. Most of you will also answer no to the question. Then click next. You will need to establish a user ID. Note that there is a space for your public address and your mailing address. For this example, my user ID is newbies. My mailing address is the same as the public address so I have checked that box by clicking on it. Don't panic with this screen. It doesn't mean you have done something wrong. Go to your email that you entered previously. You will receive an email from do not reply elicense2 at ct.gov that looks like this. Click on the link. You are directed back to elicense.ct.gov. Click on Initial Application. You will land on this list. Where are the B registrations? Scroll down. Towards the middle of the list, you will see Nursery and Honeybee Registration. Click on that. It will open up to this list. Click on Start next to Honeybee Registration. You will land here. You will use the next button and the previous buttons to navigate. Nothing to enter here. Just check to make sure everything is correct and edit if need be. Use the next button. 
Here you will enter your Hive locations. Click the Add button. Enter your Hive location and click OK. If you have more than one location, click the Add button again and enter the next location. Click OK when done. Enter the total number of all of your hives from all of your locations in this box. Do you want to be placed on a list of volunteer swarm collectors? If so, click the Yes button. If you click Yes to Swarm Collection, you will need to add the counties to which you will travel to collect a swarm. Click the Add button and enter the county. If you are willing to travel to more than one county, click Add again. You also need to include your phone number and a valid email. Use the Next button to move to the next screen. Simply click on the Agree button if all of your entries are correct. Here you have one last chance to review all your information. If all is well, click Finish. This is the final screen in eLicense. You may close this page now. Look for this email in your inbox. It may take anywhere from 15 minutes to 24 hours to arrive. It is confirmation that your application has been received. Remember to also check your junk mail folder as sometimes communications from eLicense end up there. This email is confirmation that your application is in process. Again, it may take 15 minutes to 24 hours for this message to arrive. Your application is approved and your certificate is the attachment. You may print as many copies of your certificate as you need. You will not receive the certificate by U.S. mail, but as an attachment to this email. Your certificate looks like this. Your credential number, the ENHB number, and the total number of hives and their locations are listed. Renewal notices go out about six weeks before your certificate expires, around mid-August. Renewal notices are sent to the email that we have on file, so be sure to check that email occasionally as well as the junk mail folder. Renewal notices include the instructions for fast track renewal. You do not need to remember the username and password that you originally entered. You will be given a one-time only PIN for use in the renewal. You will receive your new certificate by email. When completed, you will receive an email with your certificate attached. Go to elicense.ct.gov and find the Fast Track Renewal tab. In your email no renewal notice, you will find your PIN and your license number. Enter these numbers into the Fast Track Renewal window and click on Login. Complete the Fast Track Renewal. Upon completion of the Fast Track Renewal process, you will receive an email. Your renewal is approved and your certificate is the attachment. Again, you may print as many copies of your certificate as you need. You will not receive the certificate by U.S. Mail, but as an attachment to this email. Remember to provide a valid email, one that you check. Also check your junk mail folder as sometimes notices from eLicense land there. Nothing will be sent through US mail. You must use eLicense.ct.gov to complete both registration and renewal. You will receive your certificate fairly quickly. Feel free to contact me by phone or email if you have questions or problems. Thank you for your attention.